Yeah. I have a feeling today is going to be special. Have a go at this, guys. Oh, that is textbook. Look at conditions, mate. Look at how flat it is out there. It's going to be a glass out. Too calm, if anything. Backed by popular demand. The one, the only, Sean O. Everyone's been complaining that I've been on these videos too much. Much better, too, mate. So we have to get some, some talent on here. We're going to do a proper intro later on because uh, we're a bit too excited and we're, we're kind of just pinning it. Um, we've got a long, long drive ahead of us. <laughs> if this gives you some indication of what we're doing, have a go at the reels that are on this boat at the moment. Sean knows what trying to do, buddy. Airs and stuff. Big, shiny reels with lots and lots of line. Gold reels for gold fish! That's what I'm Woo! Well, we just stopped to get a bit of live bait. We ran over a big school of liveys and uh, we thought probably do with a couple of liveys in case we need them. And have a look what's sitting in this school. That there is a marlin. Now, I just hooked a stringer of liveys and it ate my stringer of liveys. Got me, got half a jig back and it was um, all scuffed up. Hang on, I'll see if I can, I can show you this thing without too much hang on hold tight so that's what what it looked like it's just a big arch on top of the uh, the bait there and um, yeah he's hungry so we've got one slimy in the tank Sean O's just rigging up a marlin rig and uh, we're gonna see if we can start this day off with a bit of a bang be uh, pretty cool to get a, a marlin on the board before we even film a proper intro and before we even put the lures in it's uh that'll be a win Thoughts? Mate, I'm excited. He ate your slimies and um, I reckon he's hot to trot. If we can find him again, we'll um, send him a slimy and he'll love that one. He'll appreciate that. Hopefully jump on the circle. Now for the people at home who always ask about rigs and, and, and setups and all that sort of stuff, talk us quickly through the rig that you're going to use for this livey. Alright, well this is going to be a real hack job because I'm trying to do this on quick. I'm basically just running 80 pound fluorocarbon down to a circle hook. Oh. So, big circle there. And I've also got a sinker on a rubber band. So, um, that's just get the slimy straight down. He's down at about 50 metres. I drop the live bait straight down to him, and um, should be good. There you go. Not only can he drive a four wheel drive, but apparently he can hook you up to a marlin as well. We'll soon see. We'll soon see. <laughs> Got a gear? Oh, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Still got it? I think so. There's a, it just went off. That's very exciting. You out of gear yet? Yeah. You still feel him? No. That's... Oh, oh. Hang on. Could just be the same car. A little line. Exciting. Oh, he ate. Oh, now he missed the hooks. Well, that's cool and kind of sucks at the same time. He ate it, but he uh, he didn't get the hooks by well, the looks of things. Unless it loads up now and he comes flying out of the water. That'd be great. Good handle that. Well, we've still got a few more livey, so we'll probably give him another drift. Marlin, they eat a lot, so might get a couple of cracks at him. He didn't feel hook, so obviously. <laughs> well, we thought we'd better film our intro now before any more crazy stuff happens because, uh, yeah, today has started off with a bit of a bang. It's a shame we didn't get the hooks into that, that marlin, but we've still got that livey out, so 
fingers crossed that happens mid intro that would be the best way to start another sammy hitsky fishing adventure as you are probably well and truly aware by now joined with shauno he's back from his um that looks like a that, marlin. that looks like a little marlin hang on check this out oh that's that's a big arch there that could be a marlin it's not as big as the arch we were seeing before but We'll catch it. We'll catch it and we'll show you and then <laughs> dispel all all uh, mystery. So yeah, we're out off the Gold Coast today. There's been some good reports of big yellowfin being caught out really, really wide. So that's our goal today. I've never caught a South East Queensland yellowfin. You? No, not a South East Queensland one. Oh, that's a lie. I've never caught a big one. So these are like these are proper yellowfin. These are like 30 to 60 kilo models. So proper fins, big sickles. Yep. We've got the big gear out today. We are going to give it a red hot crack. And when we checked this morning, the weather's looking pretty good for tomorrow too. So we've, fingers crossed, got two cracks at it. But uh, look, I'd really, really love to show you a big fin. Um, it's a plan, isn't it? That's the plan. Don't really, you got anything to add? Well, only that I'm going to try a different technique that I don't think a lot of Queenslanders use on the yellow fin. And, um, so he's going to pay off the ref, <laughs> and um, he's just going to buy one from the co-op, is what he means. Um, that's a, a typical New South Wales technique. You uh, wait. They you just wait. go into it, you know, it's already pre-arranged, so oh, we're going to catch some yellowfin. There's one at home in the esky Ready that's, go, that's 36 kilos. Ready to go. No, no, so, no, tell, no, look, no look, let, let, let's, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll you have to actually watch the video and we'll show you, show you it later. This technique, mate, she's a big fin hunter technique. It just, it'll, it'll separate the big fin from the little fin. That's, that's, you heard that's all it first. I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You heard it first. So we're going to do some trolling. We're going to try and find them first. So that'll be our trolling. We've got our stick baiting rods as well. So we've got two stick baiting rods, one each. And um, look, if it starts going really, really, Oh, sorry, the rod just moved in the rod hole. That got me excited. So we've still got this live out, so this marlin could literally eat at any moment. Um, I also bought my fly rod. If stuff gets really crazy and, I don't know, we get sick of catching them every other way, we might even have a crack on fly. But thank you very much for tuning in, guys. If this is your first video, make sure you subscribe because I'm launching new videos every single week. Um, like the video, comment, say good day. Say good day, Shauno. I reckon we're going to be on for a bite real soon. This might, I just, I've got this feeling, mate. You heard it first. You we'll heard it first. We'll see a marlin before a tuna, or we won't. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> or we'll see neither, and you'll never see this video. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, I'll just change the name. I'll just be like, chewing the fat with Shauno and wasting fuel. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Either or. Sight see you, mate. Either or, that's a long enough intro, you guys will be bored by now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get stuck into it and hopefully we can show you a screaming real soon. Cheers guys. Well, we're out here, we're in uh, 550 meters of water. So we're a fair way off. Uh, we've got the spread out, we've got two skirts. So uh, a big one there in case there's a blue marlin around. A small one on the, uh, on the long corner just in case the tuna are looking up. And then we've got two divers, a Halco and a Rapala down. And uh, we're hoping that sooner or later, we do enough miles, if we get lucky enough, we're gonna run over a gold nugget and one of these reels, or hopefully all of these reels are gonna scream off. That would be the absolute best, best feeling, I reckon. But it's, uh, it's a bit rougher than we thought it was gonna be out here. It's a bit, a bit bumpy. We're hoping it calms off as the day comes out. Got Shauno up in the tuna tower. Seeing if we can see some birds or some surface activity, anything like that. But uh, now it's a waiting game. Cover the ground, keep your eyes peeled. See what you can find. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Anything, we'll take anything. Be stoked with a, a big yellow pin, but even a dolphin fish, wahoo, a blue marlin will obviously be epic. Stripe marlin, anything as long as the reel screams. I'm keen. We're just coming up to our first patch of birds. Sean, I spotted them off in the horizon. We're coming up. There's a, we think we're seeing, it's hard to see because there's a little bit of chop on the water, so it's hard to see from afar whether they're blow ups or, or there's just little white caps and stuff in there. But there's bird activity, which means there's bait, which fingers crossed means there's big stuff. I've just, I've just made me brecky, so <laughs> piss poor timing, but. I, uh, I'm not going to complain if one of these rod goes off. 
This is a this is the birds up in front of us, so we're just getting into the zone here now. Oh, that was a tuna! That was a tuna! There's fish here! There's fish here! Oh my goodness! Oh, there's definitely fish here! Come on, one of these rods. I saw two come up. Bit of excitement. There was fish in it. Didn't seem like they, uh, they wanted to eat that time or they moved before we got through them. But good to see that we're in the right area. Just need to get the formula right. Now you wouldn't read about this, but we're currently in about 700 metres of water and we've just spotted a white floating thing off in the horizon. Now, from where we are, you, can, you might be able to see it on camera. It'll pop up way out there, straight in front of the boat. It doesn't look like a kettle. So, but I'm not going to rule it out early, but uh, it doesn't look like a kettle. It looks like a, um, an old long line buoy or something like that. Either way, we're going to drive past it and see if there's any dolphin fish, but it would be cool if it's another kettle. I'm going to start a collection. I'll have a set. Sorry to disappoint you all. I just got a, just got a visual. It's, uh, it's not a kettle. It's definitely a buoy. Nah, I can't see any rope. Bit of growth on it though, it's been there a while. Definitely have to call it Wilson. Didn't see any dollies. Well, we're just gonna do a couple of trolls past this and uh, see if there's anything hanging off it and then we'll grab it and chuck it in the boat. No good to having that floating around. Well, here's a quick update for you. It is 10.30. No reel has spoken to us yet. And uh, we're getting desperate. It's beer o'clock. We're about to crank some tunes. Uh, look, the day is still young. I like to think of these as uh, fish whistles anyway, mate. You fish whistles. Get a couple of fish whistles in here. Oh my goodness, we're on here. <laughs> I can thank Iron Jack for um, the sustenance <laughs> and hopefully the good luck. The good luck charm, mate. Yes! We're on! Yes! 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 We don't have to knock this out of gear, eh? Yeah. You good? Yep. Woo! <laughs> 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 My buddy's got two, but I haven't seen one yet, mate. Just watch yours, I think it's coming under. <laughs> yeah, so do I. That's what I'm worried about. Whack it in reverse slightly. Yep. Okay. Yep. Can you just, is that cap? Oh. Wow. Maybe. Are you still taking line? Oh. I hope so. Come on. 
don't know if I am. I think so. He's just running towards me. Can I put it in gear? Hey? Can I put it in gear? Or I can't get tight on this thing. <laughs> I might not be on anymore. You're losing line? Oh, I am. I'm still on. I'm still on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a double hook up here. We saw them come through, and then absolute mayhem. Oh, this is unreal. Yeah. We've got a big container ship in the background. Sean, I think Sean, yours is a good fish. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Man, I like it. I actually saw it hit a couple of times. I was watching the rods go, bump, bump, bump. <laughs> the Rapala, the magic Rapala. Oh, you go. Look at that line again. Yes. Good fish. I don't think mine's as, as good as that. But, oh, where's the gaff? Up there. Yeah. Line. Yes, bro. I'm on to top shot. Oh, this is a, st this is a stuff dreams have made of. Yeah. Here, mate. mate, this is unreal. Yeah, once I'm once I'm in, I think I'll be onto this one pretty soon. He's he's almost in. I'll um I'll sort it out. We'll get you up the front. We'll, we might try and get some line back on him. So it's not so much drag, mate. <laughs> oh! Happens, eh? Just straight in front of us, fish started boiling, and then and literally over top of At least it wasn't a quad, I think two was enough. Two is plenty. That would be too too hectic. I think yours is a horse. Look at that. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. I don't think he's that big. Oh, righto, mate. Righto. I got double. I got wind on. About to get a look at him. There's some colour. It's a fin. It's a fin. You're on. Are you? Are you in all good, good Nick? There he is. There he is. He's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. <laughs> Do you want help no, no, no. I'm good, bro. You just focus on yours. You let me know what you need, because this one's not, not a. Oh, there he is. Gold nugget. You don't want to rush these, uh, them at the boat because they're a big fish. Just take your time. You'll get your shot. Yeah, mate, yeah. No, no, I'm good. I'll, I'll let you know. You just let me know if you need... Boat and evening. There he is. He's just circling next to the boat.
coming out from under there. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. You sure? Mate, keep tension on him. I can get this. It's not that big. I'm just gonna hit him and then I'm gonna drop the rod. Keep tension on yours. Right, right, come on. I'm gonna walk back. We're right. Yeah. All right, you're on leader. You're on leader. Go again. No. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Ah. You're right. Yes. <laughs> watch, watch the leg. Watch the leg. That's a bigger fish than I thought. Get this. Get this. <laughs> That's um a lot bigger than it looked in the water. It is. Yes! We got one! Shauno's still on, so we're gonna focus on getting this next fish in. Cause these are big fin. Like proper! And the real ones. The real ones. <laughs> it's coming up a bit now. Right, uh, do you want to start? Should we start trying to get some line on him? Is he? I think it's they're probably the same size as mine. I'm just going to spin the boat around so you can fight it from the side. This is like dream territory here. Sean, good fish, Sammy. Mate, that's a good fish. I want to see yours. Yours is still taking line. I didn't even know if I had mine still. <laughs> Absolute mayhem. That's my fish there. <laughs> Look at the birds up there. Look at them. I'm seeing blowing up still. Look at the white birds are Oh, there. this is insane. That's a good fish, Sammy. The Rapala! He did come good in the end. That's a good fish, Sammy. Mate, that's like. That's 30. Easy, all day. The closer, the higher bits are 30. Righto folks, so we're, according to the GoPro, we're 16 minutes into this fight. So this is a, I think this might be a pretty substantial sized fish. We saw some real nice fish busting through this um, bait school. And then we got that double hookup. Taking Look, line again. He's taking line again. So fingers crossed, oh not fingers crossed. We're just lucky that it wasn't a quad hookup because we'd be in all sorts of trouble. Like it's all fun and games to troll with four rods at once, but if they all go off, you're screwed. Two was, is a good number, man. Two is a perfect number. So my fish, I, I hooked him, he took a massive run, and then that was it. This fish is still taking line, so look, we'd love to get a look at him. This is a cracker. This is what we came out here for. So, ah! Tell me, yeah, give us an update, you good? Yeah, yeah. It's all perfect here, actually. He's coming up. Let us know when you're getting close, I'll grab that gaff. Right, oh, Shauno's starting to win now. He's um, getting a bit of line back. And I think it shouldn't be too long before we start to get a look at this fish. He's um, got to be getting tired. Got to be. I know Sean O is, so <laughs> if, that's in, if that's any indication, then this fish should be buggered. Both animals in their peak physical condition. <laughs> one's got a lot more muscle, the other one's a tuna, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to let the record know that um, Sean O's requested the full harness. Um, <laughs> so we are expecting this fish to be between that, that 10 to 20 kilos mark. Yeah, I can see colour.
Righto, we've, oh, we've got a bit of colour there. Oh, there's a bit of silver. There's a flash. Doing those tuna circles that we all love. Oh, you have to turn the bait, sorry, man. Do you want to go around the other side or stay same side? No, stay same side. I don't think it's going to harness in, but... Just, oh, Let us know on. if we get close. We good? Out of gear. All right, it's coming, it's coming, coming. He's come back. There he is. He's going to do that same thing again. In gear. Say when. Out of gear, out of gear. Here he comes. You right? You're right, you're right, you're right. You good? He's coming back around, come back around, come back around. Come around. Let... Oh, no, no, no. You're right? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. Hold him up. Hold him up. I got a bird's nest, man. Got him. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good with the start they go in. Do you want to grab the leader or the gaff? The gaff. Oh, he's up the top. Can you hold him? Yeah, well, he hasn't run yet. He's going to come under. Can you trim the motor up? He's... Oh. Trim motor, trim motor. Eyes right, clear. Here he is. Here he is. He's good fish. Just make sure that line's clear where the, of, 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 um, I've grabbed him. Yep. He's going to circle. Oh, well, you might get a shot here, you might get a shot. Get a shot. Take him. In, in, in. Yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I'll just watch behind you. Go. <laughs> I'm far out. <laughs> oh. Double pigeon pears, mate. <laughs> oh. Yes. Sugar. <laughs> oh yes. Seen yellow. Look at that. Oh, fuck. I have a guess, mate. Mine's about 300 grams heavy. Yeah, bro. How <laughs> yeah, good is that? Me. Oh, my God. Oh, far out. <laughs> Get some photos. Holy s***. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked. Yes. Woohoo. You have all the packs on him. Epic fish. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Two! We got two from two. Shawno's ate this ate the um give us a look at that lure real quick. Little black bart. Little black bart, that's I a black use these snack. Small black marlins. Black yeah, little snack. black snack. I use this for black marlin, but I've upgraded with a, a 7 0 Jabu Jobu hook. I'm so excited, I don't even know how to talk right now. Have a go at that for a fish. Oh my goodness me. Good. Number one and number two. And I got that one on a uh, Rapala. I'll, uh, I'll show you that one soon. We, uh, we got to get these fish up for a photo before they lose their color. It looks like we are eating sashimi tonight, tomorrow night, the next night, and the next night after that. I don't know if you can tell how stoked we are, but this is like, this is out of control. Too big fin on I know Shauno has been gunning for one of these for how many years now? Oh, well, on this size off the local, man. It doesn't get much better. That's what I've come to do today. Didn't expect it to be honest. So stoked. Look, we haven't seen, like we've seen some birds, we haven't seen any other action all morning. It's now, it's one o'clock in the afternoon and we saw these fish pop up right in front of his textbook. Couldn't have gone any better. And then both rods, <laughs> <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> I need to, I need to you get need it. need a bit of deck wash, mate. You're struggling, pick <laughs> it up. Just pick it up for a focus. It's too big, it's too big. Have a go with that. Have a go on that! That's not bad. Mate, that is unreal. <laughs> unreal. Whoa, we got the shakes! Oh, I can't hold him. Two shakes. Oh no, oh no.
We have to do it one at a time because these fish are just too big to manage for both of them. Double hooker on South East Queensland. Gold nuggets. Big old yellow fin. Woo! <laughs> Look, we, I'm not going to say we worked super hard, but we've done some travelling today. We've planned it. We've talked about it. We've discussed it. We've come out and absolutely ticked it off the damn list. That's two PBs for Sean and I for South East Queensland. Yellowfin tuna. And I'll tell you what, I know it looks like there's a lot of fish here, but absolutely nothing of these will go to waste. We're going to be eating sashimi for the next week, as is the rest of my family and friends. These fish, if you're going to keep one, you can't waste them because they are just too valuable, too awesome. And I don't, I don't even know what else to say. This is like... This would be high 30s, maybe 40 kilos of yellowfin right here. Pretty much a dream come true. And, um, mate, Sean, I got one as well, so... <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm not often speechless, but I am today. That is unreal. I am stoked. We've got to get these guys a bit processed. We're going to knock the guts out of them. We're going to bleed them properly, make sure they're in tip-top condition, get them on ice. And um, yeah, we're really going to look after these fish because it's going to be an absolute pleasure to have some of this sashimi later on. I can't believe what we have just achieved. We are totally stoked. Sean, no, mate. Turn it back on you. Mate, I'm lost for words. Double hook up. You couldn't have even scripted that any better, mate. Luckily, we didn't get a quad hook up because it would have got real. Let me tell you that. That is epic, bro. I am so stoked. Yes! <laughs> tell you what, Sean owes the good luck charm. 30 kilo Mackies, big yellowfin, we caught snapper. They might have to become a permanent fixture if this is going to happen. <laughs> Give up that four wheel driving crap. Oh, this is a lot easier. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Look at this. He's cutting his arsehole off. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Wait, you cut it off? Huh? You cut a hole there? Yeah. What? There's a corn chain up. Oh, you don't split them there? No, no. So Sean has caught a few yellowfin down in, um, in Sydney way. And what we're going to do now is um, something well, he's learned across, over the years to keep tuna in good nick. Uh, I've never never processed a tuna this big before, so I'm going to pass you over. Well, nothing too crazy here. It's a pretty, pretty gory sort of scene. You sort of cut a bit of a ring around the old ring and um, what you want to do is essentially cut the inside of the gills out and you should be able to take the whole gut cavity out in one go because the guts of a tuna will actually start to heat the flesh up from the inside and that's what you want you want to get ice inside that gut cavity and um, eating quality will be way better help you get a sharp knife So that's the theory. I probably won't uh, show you the actual not, not the process. Guy. It's it's pretty gory, especially for the younger younger crew that are watching these. But um, yeah, we're gonna get stuck into these so we can get them on ice as soon as possible, and we'll uh, we'll cross back to you then. Well, we're all squared away now. We've got two tuna in the bag. It's uh, pretty full. We definitely don't need any more tuna, but uh, they're on good ice, so they're cooling down nicely. We've given the boat as much of a tub as we could. <laughs> it's gonna need some serious cleaning tomorrow, but uh, you can't do it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, the new shirt. Look, it's, it's lucky, but it, she's not clean anymore. Um, what do we do? Question. Well, we're we're kind of stuck. We're we're caught in two minds, so we're probably not gonna stay out for a great deal longer because we're gonna get home and just process these fish to keep them tip top. But we've got a couple of hours. We've got good ice on them now. They're cooling down. I think, I think we might go chuck a stick bait around and see if we can't get a hook up that way because that would be insane getting one on the cast. Um, yeah, look, there's two in a bust. Oh, is that a bust? Yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to get ready. We'll talk soon. Oh, straight out here. Oh, they're at the 
Yeah. Out of gear. Oh, they're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up. Yeah, I've got him, got him. Fish on, fish on. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Have a cast, have a cast. Have a cast. Oh. Mate, this is epic. Smash it straight in front of the boat. Yeah. Oh, that was epic. I, I, I saw him come up, I didn't realise it was on your lure. Oh, I saw him, I was watching out the back. I saw him come right up and just go boop, and I was like, oh yeah, there's one here. And then all of a sudden he came tight. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Oh, this is epic! Oh, top. Woo! Top water! <coughs> there he is there. Probably, if we get the chance, we'll probably go the big release on this guy. Yeah, get ready. Oh my. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, he's not as big as the other one. He's got bigger sickles, but uh, that is a, um, that is an epic fish for South East Queensland on a stick boat. Oh! I'll stay live. You. Yeah. Oh, he didn't like that. No, he did not like that. Well, I don't, I don't want to kill him, so if, if you reckon we just unhook him up the side of the boat, then I'm happy to do that. I'll get him in. If I, if I can get him in without, without tailing, I'll try and tail him. What's the worst going to happen? He's going to take another 100 metres of line. <laughs> Oh, that was epic. That was an epic take too. No. Big boil. It, is like, it didn't look like a huge fish. Like it didn't. He's not. He's definitely not as big as sickles are though. Sickles are wicked. Epic. What a day to be able to come out and go, oh yeah, we'll just leave this one to we'll throw him out. We don't need that 35 kilo fish. Oh. Oh, What's that? Is they talking to us? They got a nice one here. On the stick right too. Just watch that lure if it flicks out, just I'd prefer the fish to be released and you not to have a hook in you. If you get a hand on his tail, I'll grab the leader and we'll um we'll just cradle lift him. Uh, it's only 120, you won't be able to lift him with it. Yep, I've got leader. What if you ga use the tail? You you what do you use the gaff to um to hook? The oh, you got him. One, two. Oh, f me, he's big. Ready? Where are we gonna put him? Straight on the deck. Behind us? Yeah. Just leave him straight on the on the gunnel. Ready? Two. Yep. Uh. 
Have a go at that! That's as big as the one he got before. Strategic man. angler in his in his gob. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Stick bait caught yellowfin in SEQ! Yes! Yes! How good! Merv, the lure works, it's even got my name on it! Yes! <laughs> Get this out the front. Sorry guys, nuts. Ready? Two. <clears throat> Just put him on here. Right. Can I let you deal with that? Yep. Shaking. Big yellow fin on a stick bait. Oh no! 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 Stay calm, buddy. Well, we don't need any more, so we're gonna get this guy back. Oh. See ya, mate. Spear him in, mate. Lift him. Lift him. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Help he goes. Yes! <laughs> mate. Ah, oh, yes! On a stick, mate. On a stick, mate. How good does that look, though? Looks like a pilcher. That's a strategic angler. Frantic. Sweep, sweep. Shimmies along. Boom! That was so epic. Yes! This is turning into an all-time day. An absolute all-time day. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> Put a fork in me! I'm done! Well, we're back at the house now. We uh, we cut it away pretty quickly after the old uh, stick bait tuna. We had good ice on the on the um, other ones, and we wanted to get back and make sure they're in good nick. But we're back now. It's dark, big fillet session. Shauno is working on an absolute slab of fish. Look at that. You wouldn't be happy if you just got that for the day. <laughs> You'd be absolutely stoked. Have a go at it. Look beautiful. at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yellow fin tuna meat. In up. the shops is ridiculously expensive and we've got plenty of it. Yes. Plenty of it. And I'm, it's, a, it's a team effort. I'm trying to knock slabs off this one. This is the first fish here. And um, Sean I's trimming them up and put them in bags. We've got a fair bit of work cut out for us, but it's well and truly worth it. It's uh, By the time it's all said and done, it's been a pretty long day, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't change it for a thing because we had an absolute ball. But we've got to get filleting, fill it the other one, and uh, try and get some sleep. Keep at it, keep at it. Well, I'll tell you what, that's harder than it looks. There's a fair bit of meat on the old yellowfin. Yeah, there is. We've got esky full. We're uh, we're going to back up. We're just doing the uh, the big cuts at the moment, and we're going to chuck it in the fridge overnight, and because it's got to, it's pretty well got to be eaten fresh. So we'll uh, we'll divvy it out to family and friends, and they can trim it up all nice and pretty for the sashimi and tuna steaks and all that fun stuff. You can see big bloodline in the middle there that's all dark and really not good eating it's uh, got a very strong flavor but either side is damn fine apparently the belly flap is uh, red hot for sashimi so I'm gonna give that a crack never had a yellow fin of this size before to try it on but uh, I will be today <sighs> Should just chuck those in Shauno's bin while he's not looking. Oh. Unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for this week. So you're going to have to tune in next week to see day two of the Gold Coast Yellowfin action. Now, Shauno and I head back out to prove that it wasn't a fluke. And I don't want to spoil too much, but we strike gold again. That and we go through the full tackle run through of all the gear that we used on the trip. Uh, for both days. It's a cracking episode, so make sure you tune in for that. In regards to this episode, well, I think we can all agree that's one of the most epic videos I've had the pleasure of filming for you guys. I'll tell you what, I had an absolute ball. Sean, I had a ball. It was just a cracking adventure the whole day. The highs, the lows, and a couple of PB fish that neither of us will forget for a very long time. So thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I know it was a really long one this week. 
Thanks for hanging in there, but I feel like the adventure was well and truly worth it. So if you did like the video, make sure you show it plenty of love. If you're watching this on your phone, make sure you screenshot it, chuck it on your Instagram story, tag me and Shauno, and uh, I'll be reposting all of those ones that get put up. So thanks very much, guys. I'll see you next week for part two of the Yellowfin Action. Cheers.